Start falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm not too much. 안녕하세요. Low key, casual but thorough style. So I'll try to put some timestamps if you want to skip areas, if you just want to see the desk, if you just want to see the closet, if you just want to see the bookshelves. I will definitely put some timestamps down below. I will try to link everything in the description down below. If it's discontinued, I'll try to find something similar. I'll do the best I possibly can. But if I forgot something, please put something in the comments. For quick context, I'm an entrepreneur. This is my workspace. Uh, I am so excited and thrilled and blessed to have a dedicated workspace. I had been working in the living room <laughs> for a few years and that was not very fun. I wasn't able to separate my working life from my recreational life, but now I have this beautiful space and I'm, I love it so much. I'm a content creator, a streamer, and a professional musician. So I do quite a lot of different things in this space. So I'm gonna show you how it all comes together. And I do like pink, so let's, let's do it. My office is right off the hallway here in our home. And here it is as you walk in. I am crazy about plants, so my office is full of plants. I will try to hold the camera really still. I need to learn how to use my gimbal, but uh, I'll try to hold the camera still for you. So I'll give, I'll put some B-roll here of what it actually looks like, you know, because my hands are probably a little bit shaky. We'll start over here on this side of the room. So here are some of my plant babies. They are in front of this window and they love it. I do have some supplemental light for mostly for winter months, but in the summer they usually do okay. Some of these are struggling just a little bit, I have to admit. This is the Alpha Decor shelving that's exclusive to the container store. I, as I'm filming this video, I do believe that they have changed Alpha Decor into something called Alpha Decor Plus, and the old parts don't play well with the new parts, so I'm currently trying to figure out how to do how to add things and to sort of deal with that change but i guess i'll ask someone at the container store i used to i used to work there and sell the shelving just for context so um i kind of keep up with the container store but anyway it's a beautiful modular shelving and below i have my keyboard this is a really old is this a yamaha yeah this is a really old yamaha keyboard i believe it's actually over 10 years old. My mother gave me this uh, keyboard a long time ago, but it still works amazing. And it just got moved to this space recently. It was in storage for a while and I'm so excited to have it. It's great because I have a place now to practice and it's the best because I get to practice and look out the window and look at my plants. I do have a separate plant tour on the channel, but here is a look at some of the babies. Oh, look at them. This Hoya just got done blooming. I'll put a picture of the blooms. They were so pretty, but I didn't get to smell them or experience them because I was out of town. Over on this side of the room, I have an Ikea bookcase with glass doors. It's actually two units. This one, this on this side is one unit and this little tiny one is a separate unit. I did change the handles to be cute glass bulbs. This is what they look like now, isn't that sweet? I love these. In my bookcase, I have a collection of scores. I have scores on the top row here and scores on the bottom row. Don't ask me why they are separated. It just happened to be that way. But I have them all in these magazine files and it's been the best way to organize these. Inside, I just threw the individual scores in there so I don't have to look at the sides or anything. I can just look at, uh, you know, the beautiful pink. Because there are so many different colors of scores, I just didn't want to have all that disorder going on in my bookshelf. These were very inexpensive from Amazon. I would not recommend them because they, they're not the best quality, but I will link them down below. I don't even think this pink is available anymore. I highly recommend that you just invest in the best ones you can afford if you're gonna go the magazine uh, file route. Moving up the shelves here, we've got my little Nintendo collection. We have my, this is my original NES from 1986. It is 
non-working. I actually was thinking about going to get it fixed so it does work, but it worked as of 10 years ago, but it doesn't work now. Next to it, I have the original Zelda gold cartridge. Love to see it. And my original Game Boy. That actually does work, believe it or not. And um, those things were tough and fun. In here was my box that I got for working for five years at the container store, I think. Yeah, it's my five year award. I don't know if they still do this, but container store was fun. It was a fun job. I, I designed alpha closets when I worked there. Anyway, it's full of nerd paraphernalia. I've got repeats of Animal Crossing Amiibos, my Animal Crossing GameCube cards. I have to sell some of these. Um, the ones that are out of the package are ones that had save files, and the ones that are in this bag are ones that didn't have save files. It's a whole thing. If, you're, if you are subscribed to my gaming channel, you'll know all about this, but if you're not, don't worry about it. Anyway, it's this full of, it's full of nerdy stuff. It's nerdy. My pup has come to join us. Hello, this is Clover James. He is, he looks very tired because he just went on an hour walk, but he's here to say hello. Hello. Moving to the shelf above, I have even more nerdy stuff. Believe it or not, this is Animal Crossing Amiibo stuff and uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and 3DS paraphernalia inside both of these boxes. You don't want to look inside. It's kind of a mess and there's some more Amiibo stuff on top. That's the only really mess over here. Um, and then next to it, we've got our Creator Award. Oh my gosh, you can see me in the Creator Award. Hello. Next to it, I just have a couple of things that remind me of moments that I was proud of myself. I was on the Tamron Hall show last year. Was that last year? I think it was last year talking about Marie Kondo and her retiring from organizing. And this is my first show with the Boston Lyric Opera that I did. It was called Omar. It actually won a Pulitzer Prize the week after we closed. It's a new opera. Really great. It was a lot of fun. Um, but I was very happy that I was able to perform with BLO. And then I have a little crown here from my first gig with a uh, a company that I've wanted to be a part of for a long time. When I finally was hired to do something, I had to wear a crown at my first gig and I've kept it ever since. <laughs> you gotta keep things that remind you of things that you're proud of so you don't, you know, just quit if you're having a down day. On the next shelf, we just have a few office supplies and some Pokemon and I have some mail there that I have to uh, go through. The office supplies are not very exciting. I just have some scissors, markers, Zots. These are little adhesive dots. They come in handy a lot of the time, actually. A stapler and a electric rule, electric ruler? No, this is an electric, measuring tape this is very useful when i was seeing clients in person I'll, I'll show you when i was seeing clients in person this was really really helpful now it's just really helpful for measuring things around the house again when i worked at the container store for a while i was an employee i didn't need this but when i was a contractor and working for the container store when i was in people's houses this was the most valuable player in my arsenal in this drawer there's just little bits and bobs i've got you know clips batteries, just that kind of stuff. And I've got all of these Zelda books. I'm a big old nerd, but I've got the Hyrule Historia, Arts and Artifacts, Creating a Champion, and the, uh, I guess the Zelda Encyclopedia. I am, yes, a nerd and proud. Speaking of nerddom, on the next shelf, we've got a little Animal Crossing leaf and my entire manga collection, which is quite tiny actually. But I have read all of these and I, love to reread these every once in a while, especially Fruits Basket, that was so good, and Full Moon, oh, so I cried. And here's my first actual collection of books. I know a lot of you are nosy and wanna know what books I have. Listen, I mostly have nonfiction and inspiration books and instructional books. I do have some poetry and some fiction, but it's mostly mm, science gardening and music and stuff. <laughs> let me know if you paused the video and looked at all the titles because you're nosy, let me know. <laughs> the next shelf down, we've got more books and a box that was sent to me by my friend Truong when he sent me a, uh, something, a gift in the mail. There's something inside here. Oh yeah, it's Animal Crossing cards. Oh, these are so sweet. So if I'm gonna send out thank you cards, I'm gonna use these. So cute, look at him, look at how cute. I cannot part with this. It's just a regular box, but it was a custom box made by my friend Truong because I was in a lost race. And look, he had a little logo on there for the lost race with the little flower on it. That is so cute. I love it. My 
my advice if you is if you have to hold onto a box and you feel weird about doing it, give it a job. So that has a job. Down here we have some more books, just in case you are curious and nosy. I still have my organic chemistry book, believe it or not, I do reference it every once in a while just because I, I ask myself a question. Listen, I don't know what it is, but every now and again, I have a question. And my insect book, because I love insects, if you don't know. Uh, I guess I've never talked about it. I do love bugs and, and arachnids, except for ticks. Ticks, I hate ticks. Um, but I do love spiders and I love insects and middle sex, by the way is my favorite book I've ever read. This was the most captivating thing I've ever read. Down on the next shelf, I just have my glasses, my collection of glasses. I like to have different styles of glasses, just, you know, in case I'm having a different fashion feeling. As I'm becoming older, I notice that my prescription is changing more frequently and I can't do this as often, so sad face. But we've got more books here. And down below, we just have a basket. This basket is from a brand called Open Spaces. They sent me these uh, as in PR and I really like them. They are metal and available in a few different colors. They're really high quality, just gorgeous, gorgeous baskets. They all have these little tags on them. Just stunning, stunning products. Highly recommend. Everything they make is beautiful. Um, and in this one, I just have all of my Singer things. So I have a little vaporizer, um, nebulizer really, and some other Singer things in there and some glasses cases. And last but not least, down at the bottom, I just have a collection of magazines that I either contributed to or was featured in. I am very proud of it. So I just have these out for display and every now and again, if I'm feeling bad about myself, I just open one of these up and I say to myself, I am not a loser. My bookshelf is very famously home to my satin pothos who is just spreading her vines all over the place. <laughs> she can't stop, won't stop, and I love this plant so much. The leaves on this side are really tiny because they're not getting a lot of light, but the leaves on this side are thriving, honey. Since I use this office also as a gym, I have my workout mat on the back of my door hung from, this is one of those jumbo command hooks and it can hold, I think up to 10 pounds or something. I will, if it's not up to 10 pounds, I'll put the correct amount that it holds, but it's been, re it's, it's been so great because I use this mat three times a week, actually four times a week now, Whew, four times a week. And, but I didn't want to look at it cause it's ugly. So behind the door works out great. To the right of the door, I have just a lamp and uh, my clock and my little Bach birthday on the birthday Bach on the subway picture. Um, every Bach's birthday, people perform Bach in the subway, and I did it a couple of years. And then this was the little car that we were given out, and it was really fun. I get a lot of questions about this side table. This is one of my most prized possessions. It is, I think, it's called the Pavo side table from Anthropology. The table they sent me before this table did not have this piece on top. It did not come with this piece. So I wasn't able to assemble the table. And I was back and forth with anthropology for months, begging them just to send me this piece so I could put the, the table together. And they were like, no, you return the table and repurchase it. And I was like, just just sent me the little piece and they refused. It took months though to get a definite no and it, oh, it was such a pain, but worth it. Finally, I got a new table, took that piece out and put the old piece and put the old table with the new piece and then sent back the new table. It was a whole thing. Anyway, it's a beautiful little accent piece. Love it so much. I love that it's a freaking peacock. And um, so that's that table and it houses my, one of my favorite plants in my entire collection. This is a, well, I think it's called Japercha now, but commonly known as Calathea rattlesnake. It is a beautiful plant. It hasn't given me any drama since I had it. Knock on wood. It's just been, it loves it there. It just grows and is happy. Moving to the left of the keyboard, I do have a little sleeper couch and on the couch is Clover because that's usually where he sleeps if I'm at my desk. This is the Elliott Twin Sleeper from Joybird. I don't think they sell this anymore. When we got it, we were moving to a different space with dark floors and I was like, hey, I wanna get a couch, a sleeper couch with color. And I got it in this beautiful peacock blue. 
and we moved from that space we sold our condo and when i moved it into this space the blue did not work it sucked all the light out of the room it was bizarre and for a while i had a blanket on it <laughs> for ages and it was it worked fine um, but I really wanted to just put a slip cover on it because you couldn't, and Joy Bird doesn't sell the separate slip covers for this because they discontinued it. Oh, it's a whole thing. I had a custom quote for this couch and it quoted me a thousand dollars to make a custom slip cover for this. And Comfort Works, who I will link down below, makes slip covers for these couches and it was only $350. So I was after, and by the way, I have been looking at that slip cover for three years, I think. And finally, after three years, I was like, fine, I'll pay the $350. And for the slip cover, if it's gonna fit perfect, it arrived a few days ago. It's perfect. Perfection. Could not be any better. Worth the money, fast shipping, highly recommend Comfort Works if you are looking for a slipcover. And you can put it in the wash and everything. It fits perfect. It's like the couch. It's like, it, it, I mean, it was made for this couch. It's perfect. And, you know, that way, if a little clover gets fur on it, you can wash it. Look how cute he is. He's just so cute. Next year, we just got some plants, my, my weights. And behind here, I do have a shredder just hidden behind here, just so I can shred all my nails. Okay, I think this is the main event here. This is my Alpha freestanding desk. And currently, as it's built, it is a seven foot desk. Is that right? Two feet, two feet, three feet? Yeah, that's right. It's a seven foot desk. And from this space, I do all my uh, YouTube video editing. I do all my planning, all my you know working, writing, and all my streaming, as you can see by the lights, the camera, and my game controller collection there. So the first thing I'll point out is my chair. It is a bunny chair. It's got a little bunny <laughs> tail in the back. I have thought about replacing this chair so many times for something more sophisticated, more adult, more grown up, cooler, and I can't, I love this chair. It's so fun, it's really comfy. I just, I, I can't. So as well as Alpha being able to be wall mounted, um, the Alpha also is able to be floor mounted. And so that's why those feet are there. It's completely free. That's why it's in front of the window. So this is birch and silver, birch and platinum. And I've built this custom for this space and I absolutely love it. I don't have very much on the top shelf. It's just some plant stuff and a couple of plants. Actually, the pothos, this golden, I think, what's it called? No, golden, green, green, green. I forgot what, what variety this is. This is some very new cultivar of pothos. Has been doing great right here. I refuse to move it because the leaves on top are really small, but the ones down the bottom are absolutely monstrous. So this plant, it loves this place. I've made an effort to keep my desk pretty minimal and pretty clean just because there's a lot going on. I only have a few things on the desk. I've got my phone holder. I've got a couple of pens because I have a calendar here. Sometimes I write on that and I have some chocolate. In the middle is where my computer is. I have a Mac Studio that's right there and I have attached to it some external hard drives which I can use with my laptop so I can take that into the living room if I'm you know really need to get out of here or something but I have my capture card there a couple of other things I have a lot plugged in to this whole system so I had to I tried as best as I could to hide cords but it is very difficult because I have all of these devices plus the uh, consoles, I have three or four consoles plugged in. No, I, have my, I think I have five. I think I have five consoles plugged in in order to get this whole system to work. So I just needed a lot of cords. I've got a Wii U, switches, a uh, GameCube, and up on the top behind this screen is actually a gaming PC. I'll show you that in a minute. If you have a Mac and you wanna stream, you can totally do that. I just recommend that you invest in a program called Ecamm Live. Don't use OBS. I mean, if you know how to use OBS and you are a genius, that's great. I just find that it has too high of a learning curve and I can't be bothered. So Ecamm Live is the best. I think it costs a few hundred dollars a year if you, you know, it's not free. I mean, there is a free version, but the, the pro version is, is much, it's much easier to use and has a lot more customization. So I would definitely highly recommend that if you're a Mac user. Um, I don't know, OBS is just too difficult. I have two Elgato 
these are the key light airs they're not the regular key lights although i was thinking about getting the regular key lights that are a little bit bigger the key light air is fine for now i have a one of my old sony cameras uh mirrorless cameras as my webcam it works really well i have it hooked into a dummy battery so it never runs out of battery but it is on a multi-mount and this is a 4k screen 4k screens look really good i have one next to it that's an ultra wide 1080p screen and it looks like trash compared to my 4k screen so my next screen is definitely going to be another 4k screen anyway down here i have my elgato stream deck which i use to make all kinds of i change my scenes i have a sound effects and it has a little picture of clover when it's on rest and here is my mic that i use this is the elgato wave 3 love that mic it's been so good this is a beautiful desk pad by the way um, it was sent to me by a brand called grove made and they make beautiful things the monitor stand is actually also grove made it's gorgeous highly recommend i will put a link down below so i mentioned i have a gaming pc i have a mini gaming pc it's from a brand called minis forum and i cannot say enough good things about it i do have a bunch of stickers on it which make it cuter because it has a really ugly logo on it but this little tiny look how thin it is gaming pc is so fantastic it is everything I need to stream games that are not Nintendo games on online, I guess. And it's just, it's it's a really good machine. It doesn't make any more noise. It fits right there. It stands up and it's just so great. I mean, it doesn't come with a monitor. It's basically, I guess it's basically a gaming laptop without a monitor. Um, again, I will link it down below great machine but i have all of these machines hooked up to this capture card not at the same time but i can switch them out i have all my different hdmi cables that i can attach to my capture card and i just labeled them so this one is gamecube the wii u one is blue and the gaming pc one is gray i have my switch hooked up to it right now i do have a separate keyboard for my gaming pc just for convenience uh, i know that you can get a switcher but i just don't i don't want to have a mess with all that i have this detachable shelf that that I slide out shelf that I attached to the desk and it worked really well. There we go. I pull it out and I have a Logitech keyboard that is attached to my PC and my mouse that is for my PC only because I do have a mouse that is attached to my Mac and I have one just for the PC. So if I'm playing here at my desk and if I need to get to the PC, we go to that keyboard. And if I need to go to the, my Mac, that's that keyboard. The PC keyboard is clicky. It's very clicky. And as you can see, pastel colored. Isn't that cute? I also do have my headphones for streaming and editing down attached to the side of the desk. I have a wireless pair and a wired pair just in case I'm playing something where I need to more accuracy. I have to plug them, I have to plug them in. My camera decided she wanted to overheat, so we'll, we'll finish this up. I've got some more switches here. I have my all of my controllers on this. I guess controller organizer. This thing's amazing. I don't know why I waited so long to buy it. I will link it down below. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. I have some mugs here that were given to me by either um, friends or uh, my mods over on the gaming channel. And I've got some journals up here. Down here is where my iPad lives. This is for reading music and for traveling. On the right side of the desk, I have a couple of drawers. I have this drawer, which basically has cables camera stuff and some cosmetic business in here. There are, you know, USB-C, micro USB, Nintendo cords, adapters, all kinds of stuff. Here I've got my laptop and a holder for the external hard drives. And down at the bottom, I just have Nintendo stuff. So I have controllers, games, Amiibo cards and a portable, well, like a holder for my Nintendo Switch. So that is the desk. I love hanging out there and my monitors are capable of swinging. So I swing this that way when I'm streaming and when I'm just having, you know, chill time, my computer looks like that. And yes, my screensaver is my Melody. Wow, my camera has an attitude today and decided to overheat again, but I basically am done showing you the office. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment below. I definitely wanna be changing 
a little bit of the decor of this office in the next few months. I mentioned I want to get new shades because the shades I have are busted. And there's definitely places where I need to paint and I would love to put a mural on this wall or maybe this wall i don't know anyway i hope you enjoyed the office tour um and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching bye